morning, everybody. <laughs> I just thought I would come on here live while I'm getting ready for church and do a little check-in with you all because I miss you guys and I haven't seen you in forever. Hopefully you can see me. Uh, yes, I look a little rough. Just got out of the shower. You know how that goes. I have you guys perched. Let's shut all these doors so you're not like staring into my junk. I have you guys perched in this flower arrangement in my bathroom. And you know how my phone likes to do this crazy focusing stuff. So it'll be okay. I did want to come on here and just say hi. I've got hair going everywhere. While I get dressed, I'm very surprised that my clothing fits this morning. <laughs> My husband and I did a post cruise weigh in. He is up six pounds. I am up eight pounds. And no, I don't think that it's water. So, no, we're not going to make that excuse. I think it is the Norwegian Bliss and all of its wonderful, amazing food. Um, we had a wonderful time. So, I got back last night at around uh, 10 o'clock. Good morning, Denise and Brenda. Hey, guys, and Jean um, and Michelle. <laughs> so the, the trip was wonderful. Um, it was a seven-day cruise on Norwegian Bliss. I have a lot of footage that I'm going to edit and put up for you guys. Um, we went with our friends, which was a definite definite challenge to my kind of what I normally do when I have been going on vacation the past few years, you know, trying to stay on program. I think I started off great and then it was kind of a, you know, um, when in Rome type situation. <laughs> Plus we ate at all of these amazing specialty restaurants. So you guys will see a little bit of that. Um, I didn't film too much of that sort of thing because I was really trying to uh, have some intentional time with my friends. So these are our very, very close friends of 20, I think we decided it was 28 years, something like that. Um, I'm putting on my camouflage. This is the Super BB Insta, what, Insta Ready. My mom doesn't like this stuff. She says it's too thick. Um... So yeah, my husband and I decided to just face the music this morning and we got on a, on the scale and then just kind of looked at each other like, oh dear, what have we done? And then right, <laughs> he was leaving for church right now and I was like, okay, remember, we're going to try to be, you know, take care of ourselves today. I said, no pastries to him and he said, mmm, pastry, typical guy. And he's a thin guy, but when he gains weight, he gains it all in his midsection and, and he just looks out of proportion then because he's very, you guys have seen him, he's very trim and thin and he doesn't really want to have like a little pregnant belly. That's not his goal in life. So we're going to get it together. Um, I don't normally eat before church, so I'm having a little bit of water just because I feel extremely dehydrated. The highlights of the trip were the excursions for sure. We went on excursions in Tortola, uh, St. Thomas, and Nassau. Nassau was this amazing walking tour of Nassau where we um, had a tour guide that took us on like a traveling lunch. And it was really, really cool, <laughs> but it necessitated me eating off plan. <laughs> So I don't know, I honestly don't know how I could have stayed on plan um, for most of the days. So I would start off really great with like a lot of zero point foods for breakfast, like just fruit and eggs and stuff. Then lunch, it would be kind of the, okay, we'll try to balance this out. And then by dinner, it was like, we're at a specialty restaurant. We went to one restaurant called Tapanaki um, and they have like grilled shrimp and everything. And so... Even that had tons of butter and tons of, and you could actually ask them to go light on stuff. Um, did I do that? Not really. So I totally, I fully enjoyed every moment and I really blocked out like the whole 
you know, work thing, didn't think about work, tried not to think too much about dieting and didn't, you know, body shame myself the whole entire time because that's just not healthy on any level. Um, and just tried to really enjoy my friends. So I'll put that video up for you guys. Uh, as soon as I get it edited, it's going to be um, in several parts because there's a lot of uh, stuff. I'm using Mary Kay mascara. You guys like Mary Kay? I do. I like their mascara for sure. Um, let me see who's on here. Hi, Freedom in a Budget. Hey, girl. How are you? Um, Michelle says, I was on vacation. I was supposed to relax. Yes, um, I was on vacation. That's for sure. I did relax for sure. Um, thank you, Michelle. And uh, Mima, yes, we had a great time. Hi, Kat D. Good to see you. Hi, Hope. Good morning. And hi, Marie. <laughs> own it, girl. I love that. Yes, I'm totally owning it. I'm o I'm owning every bite, lick, and taste. Remember that from like old school Weight Watchers? We would talk about BLTs um, to make sure that you count every bite, lick, and taste. So anyway, today's goals, I tracked yesterday. I was on plan 100% yesterday. I did great. Um, I went a little into my weeklies because we stopped at Whataburger on the way home and I had some onion rings. But other than that, you know, I still got my blue dot. I would, I would love to do a Blue Dot Challenge in February. If anyone wants to join me, let me know down below, and I can set the Facebook page up for that, and we can do a Blue Dot Challenge for February. Um, my next trip, actually, I leave in the morning for Austin, so I've got to turn myself around today and get ready to go to Austin for the rest of the week, but my next big trip that I know of right now, I think we might be going to New York here at some point. Uh, this spring for the movie premiere. Um, but I know for sure I'm going to the beach. I think I know for sure. I don't, it's kind of up in the air a little bit. But I believe we're going to be going to Destin uh, this summer. And I'd like to be back down to where I was, you know, uh, last year. So we'll see. You know, I'm not going to make any like hard set crazy goals, like poundage wise. But my goal is going to be on plan meetings and I really feel like I need to get some blue dots. I ordered these really cool microwavable lunch or dinners. I'm sorry, not dinners. Um, I'll have to post the link down below. I got them from QVC, but they're all like salmon, flounder, and shrimp and you microwave them and they're like, they look delicious. Um, so I have those kind of as a backup plan and then we are going into Lent which, because I'm orthodox, that means no meat, no dairy for a while. And so that's going to be interesting. And I'm going to have to work with um, the powers that be on how what that's going to look like for me. So <laughs> that should be interesting. Look, I got these really pretty earrings um, on St. Thomas. I can't remember the name of the stone, but if you go over to Instagram, I put the ring that matches over there. Um, I got just a couple little you know, trinkets here and there. I got like a really pretty charm bracelet um, that you collect charms over the days of the cruise. And I got earrings. I got a ring. I got a sweatshirt, which was great because when we came back last night, we were freezing. Um, Michelle, the cooler bag is working well. I need to kind of refine that a little bit. So we'll see. I, I probably need to do some videos on that. So uh, Mima, yes, we love Dustin. It's beautiful. The water is beautiful there. So Debbie says yes to a blue dot challenge. Okay, Debbie, I will set up the Facebook page for a blue dot challenge. We won't designate February. We'll just do it as a blue dot challenge page. So if we want to continue on, we can. Uh, let's go over there and we can post our trackers. So when I get home from church today, I'll try to post a couple links down below. I won't be able to do it right now because I've got to leave in just a few minutes. So I'm singing in the choir. So um, I think, is it nine o'clock? I guess my, I don't know what time it is. Yeah, it's nine o'clock. I don't know, for some reason my Fitbit says that it's 10, but I think it's still set on, maybe it hasn't synced in a while <laughs> with my phone. Did you guys' Fitbit ever do that? You guys, you know how you were talking about how cute the face was on my Fitbit for a while? It had like flowers. Well, the flowers stopped working and I went to reload it and that face is gone. So I have like kind of a, a Great Gatsby looking type deal, um, Art Deco looking one that I don't like as much. 
But I don't know, the Fitbit thing is great. Um, I got lots of steps on this trip. It didn't counteract the immense amount of eating that I did. Um, my favorite, let's see, favorite food on the cruise, we had one night that we did Los Lobos, the Mexican restaurant, and I got this thing called street corn. Street corn. Oh my lords, it was awesome. Um, we also went to La Cucina, which was the Italian restaurant, and I had tiramisu there. So you can see just choices that I don't normally make in my everyday life. On the walking tour, we stopped and had little samples of hand-painted chocolate. Um, I had one that was key lime and one that was a dark chocolate with a salted caramel filling. So lots of things that <laughs> kind of trigger me. So we've got to kind of back up from that now and get ourselves back, you know, back in line with the WW lifestyle where we can eat everything, we can eat anything, right? Right, we can eat anything we want, we just can't eat everything. So on the cruise, I was eating everything. So we can eat anything, just not everything. Um, <laughs> oh, Dee Dee says she has a WW street corn recipe. I would love that. If you wouldn't mind putting a link to that or let me know where uh, I can find something like that, I would love to do that one night. We're going to have family dinner tonight. We're having the boys over for tacos. I'm going to make some turkey taco meat with some of you guys recommended using chicken broth to kind of help it not be so dry. So I'm going to try that and see if I can do the zero point turkey. I just don't like the texture, but I think in tacos it might be okay. We're going to do family taco tonight, tonight, have the boys over. I got them a couple of t-shirts, so I'm going to give them that. Um, and then, like I said, I already have the laundry going. I've got to pack. I've got to head out in the morning for Austin. Then I'll be back this weekend, back to Weight Watchers meetings this weekend. I don't know if I'm going to go Friday or Saturday. I have to figure that out with my schedule um, and then kind of get back into the groove with my meetings. I can't wait to go back, but I am happy I have a little time to potentially get off the one or two pounds that might be related to water. Um, I'm hoping some of that is water weight. Hope you have your water out, Anita. I hope you have your water out, Anita. Um, I have a, a couple of things in my inbox, people wanting me to do collabs. I just haven't had time to do a collab. Um, so I've got to think about that. I've got to really think about my channel and how I'm going to do things now that my schedule has kind of changed a little bit. So anything that you guys would like to see, uh, let me know. I was thinking about Sundays, I'm going to start doing dinners with my family. And I thought it'd be really fun to try things out of my Weight Watchers cookbook and post that up here. Like do a little cook with me family dinner on Sundays um, and see if I can't get Judah involved. So I'll talk to him about that tomorrow. I'm off to church. I look pleasantly puffy. <laughs> not pleasantly. Well, my grandmother used to say, Ooh's not fat, ooze fluffy. Did you guys ever hear that one? So my grandmother was always a Weight Watcher. She always walked. She went to, hi, cat. Good to see you. She always walked. She always, you know, tracked her points or calories. She used to do the exchange system. So I don't exactly know how that works, but I know she had this like exchange thing she would do. Um, anyway, she would always say, ooze not fat, ooze fluffy. So that's what I feel like. I feel very fl fluffy. I feel fat this morning. I just feel bloated. So we got to work on that. Um, say a prayer for me <laughs> that I can get my crack together. Self-control, discipline, tracking, water. You guys, you know the deal. You know the spiel. Um, and I'd like to get a walk in this evening. So have a great on-program day. I will try to get some of that video up and loaded for you guys today or tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow night I'll be in the hotel room. So I can probably get some editing done in the hotel room this week because I don't have anything else going on. See y'all later. Stay in orbit. Bye. Thanks for watching.